Hi guys, this is uh, Devin with Devin Pilney Photography and this is another tutorial for you about Lightroom 3. This particular tutorial deals with how to import photos and how to categorize them. Lately I've been getting a lot of questions about exactly how I import it and what my workflow is. So this is going to be the basics on how to import and store your, your files. So I'm going to come down here, I'm going to open up Lightroom 3. You'll notice that you're only capturing a portion of my screens because I've got a high resolution monitor and I want to make sure that you are being able to read all the text. So, now I'm in my basic Lightroom setup here. I'm in the library module and I want to import some photos. Okay, so what we're going to do here is hit import in the bottom left and now we're going to have to select the source. So for me, I've got photos on my desktop but I also have photos that I shot from a club event on an SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that into my computer right now and normally if you're in Lightroom it'll automatically pop this window up but assuming that that doesn't happen you go ahead and you import your card or you put your card into your card reader or the side of your computer and then you simply select it. My SD card in this case is named Nikon D7000 for this type of camera I shot this event with and it's going to pull up this panel. It takes typically a second to generate thumbnails but once you start generating thumbnails you can really determine which photos you want to keep and which photos you don't want to keep. So for me, um, I know that I've already imported all these, I've already done my edits and all that stuff, so I'm just for the sake of making this quick going to hit uncheck all down here and I'm only going to import, let's say, I don't know, a, a few photos just so that you can get the idea of what's uh, what's really going on here. I'll click that one even though I don't know what it is yet. Now once you've got these photos selected and you think, okay, these are the ones that I'm going to want to have um, you know, imported to my home library, what you can do is on this right hand side where it says destination, this is important. So the folder I created for these already was called Them Jeans because this was an uh, event at the district for an LADJ named Them Jeans. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and re-import these photos. Oh, that's cool. I'll select that one too. So I've got this selected on the right side. If you wanted to create a folder like this, I've got this all set up in my hierarchy. This is the month of February. So in the month of February, you right click, create new folder, and it says which folder, you know, here's, here it is on your desktop, which folder would you like to create in, new folder, we'll call this one um, tutorial import, create, and then you just hit choose down here. So now we're in tutorial import, we see that it's selected on our destination tab, we're going to go ahead and hit import. So it's taking all the files that I went ahead and selected, and it's bringing them over to this, if we look on the, our left hand side here, in pictures 2011 February tutorial import here they are now this is we're gonna want some larger thumbnails so I'm just scrolling up like this so immediately I see that this color here this is all off this is bad so this is your basic delete uh, when I'm going through my files um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit X on the ones I don't want it says it as rejected so in the bottom left you'll see this little X flag come up here you can take it off by clicking that or reapply it by hitting X. Um, and basically this is saying this photo will be deleted when you input the appropriate keys. Um, so this one I don't like. I'm just going to use my right and left arrow keys to scroll over to my next one. This one here, uh, <coughs> Zane is looking a little bit freaked out, but for the purpose of the tutorial, he's fine to keep. Everything's in focus, it looks like. I'm just clicking and zoom in here. It's generating, rendering. Okay, not bad. This one here, if we lightened it up a bit, probably could be okay. Same here. This one is kind of a mess. We're going to press X again and reject this one. Now, once you want to delete both these two rejected files, you hit Command on a Mac and Delete. And here is the keywords that you're looking for. Delete the two rejected master photos. Okay, you want to make sure that they're the rejected ones because those are the ones that we pressed X on. Once you do this, you can either remove them from your light, your Lightroom uh, library, or you can completely delete them from disk. Because I shoot so many photos a month, and I only shoot raw, and you know I probably can shoot up to 16 gigs a night at one of these events, I'm always deleting from.